this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Niche Fairy Flowers. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. We are picking up with the continuation of our beautiful Metal Pixie line that has begun with our God Fairies ever since we discovered two quirky pixies. Um, and then we paired them together. They ended up having a metal looking son and a metal looking daughter who paired up once again. And then we've had a really awesome spread of like silver and gold and onyx uh, pixies that just look awesome. Unfortunately, as a result, their strength has gone down. And so we have beautiful, beautiful pixies like this female called Rhea who unfortunately has absolutely no ability to defend anyone or anything. But they are doing something else that's important. They are bringing back some of our fertility. Because if you look at the royal lines and niche links that have stayed in the tribe or have had generations before them in this tribe, their fertility has gone like down quite a bit. They've got like about a two fertility, which is really low. Whereas these metal pixies, they have like a four fertility, which is quite... It's, it's average, but it's like upper average kind of thing. So I'm excited for how this is going to pan out, especially because Rhea was paired up with one of our princes, Prince Seth, who is the younger brother of our current King Ivan. So we're having the two lines kind of unite. Fingers crossed we're going to get some pixies with fertility that is higher than what we're used to. But okay, guys, I shall stop rambling and we will continue on with the episode. We are starting off with 1,377 nesting material, 260 food, and 10 nichelings. Also, Araya is ready to settle down onto a nest. So where does she wish to jump, I wonder? I think, I feel as though up here might be fun. We could come back this way. You know what? She'll set up a nest right over here. Just because I feel as though it'll be a bit problematic for that baby to have to wiggle its way down the cliff. So we'll do that. Fairy King Ivan has uh, his son and his spare, which is quite exciting over here. And we do have a partner for his son in the King's sister. The King's youngest sister, Riace, is going to be paired up with his eldest, uh, which is quite, quite exciting for me. Jennifer, you can actually move on your own quite a bit now, which means your mother should be free to kind of go about her own her own duties. So we'll do exactly that. Percy is on his last day and I was gonna pair him up with Riachia but unfortunately I discovered that she was she was compatible with the fairy prince so I couldn't do that because we all know that once the kings and the princes they claim like the fairy princes and the fairy kings once they claim females you can't really you can't really work with that can you? Like, that would be sabotaging the royal line, and that would be an absolute no-go. Okay, Riachia, I'm gonna have you jump here, help out on that end, while also babysitting Quail. And let's have a look at what our Metal Pixie is gonna give us. Oh! Oh my goodness! What is this? What is this? Oh, this fairy is so pretty! Guys, this fairy is so pretty. She has no attack. She's gonna be a god, but she is a flippin' beautiful god. Wow, okay. Look at her. She's a water fairy. Is this like the first water fairy we've had? Oh my goodness. We just got a water fairy, guys. So this is gonna be God Roxy. God Roxy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She's not even fully white. She's got like a cream, she's got a cream, yeah, white and beige, she's got a cream pattern um, on Onyx kind of body. But that looks so pretty, oh my goodness, I love it, I'm so glad I, I paired them with each other. She's got a recessive uh, mermaid in her, but she's a female fairy, which is awesome, we need more female fairies, of course, and... Our fairy prince has aged up! You know what this means, guys? This means that we're going to put Bedfaria to rest uh, in terms of breeding. We're going to give her... Um, I'm going to give her the redstone. 
Um, just because she could breed with the Fairy King, they could have one more child, but I'm gonna let Fairy Prince Lyrian and his mate Riachia kind of continue the breeding and whatnot. I think Betferia's done, done her job. We've had a prince, fairy prince, we've had a spare with quail. I think it's right that the others get a chance to breed instead. So that's what I'm gonna focus on with these guys. So let's just hoof Riach here as much as possible over here to the fairy prince who's gonna pair up with her and hopefully we'll have some cool babies with them too. And what's it? She's got a three fertility, which is normal. She's got um, normal fertility, which is good. It's higher than the other kind of royals have. But let's breed these two together. Now these two, they have... Oh, no, no, no. They have low fertility. But... Oh, yes! Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. It's kind of like a... I, I wouldn't... Oh my goodness, the baby has been left alone. But Faria, what are you doing? Even though this is a safe land. You never know when Barinas are going to jump out of nowhere. But yeah, like I was saying, I I think that it's almost like a bit of a curse for the royal, the royal line that they do have low fertility as a result of inbreeding. Okay, Rhea, Rhea, I think it might be wise for you to just patrol. Patrol next to your baby. It's a precious one. I don't think you want to lose it. Um, by any stretch. Okay, Prince Seth. There's, there's berries here. Let's dive this way. Um, I think everyone's going to be quite excited for Princess Riach here. It's a fully royal pairing as well. We've got a fairy prince and then we've got a princess. So I think that would be... Like, that would make everyone quite happy. Okay, Rhea, your baby is still young, so you can continue patrolling and try and maybe grab a nut or two. Let's see, Jennif. Jennif is just stuck collecting berries for now, but she's gonna have to catch up with everyone at some point. Riachia, you have two days left. So why don't you just dive over there? And we'll get Prince Lyrian to come and explore on this end. Elith, no berries here. Let's pluck from this end. Our Fairy King is gonna clear these spots. And then we'll get Prince Seth to dive here and help out on this end. Okay, Prince Quail, let's jump here. Your mother can do a bit of exploration while also guarding you on that end. Okay, our tribe is getting a little bit split, so I think we're gonna have to get Jennifer to huff it and start wiggling little baby Roxy over to everyone as well. And we don't have a lot of uh, niches that can collect nuts. So I think it's good that some of some of the genes from Seth and Riachia are being passed on in Roxy because she has the collecting, like the cracking, I mean, sorry. She's got the cracking. Okay, Jennifer, let's dive this way. And then we'll get Roxy, who is a god, so she should get a god stone. And let's see, Rhea, you can come here, grab that berry, try and knock that bush, even though... Possibly you shall fail. Okay, Riachia is ready to settle onto a nest. I am very tempted to move her to this one. Because I know everyone's going to start wiggling this way anyways. But let's see, Elith. Let's clear this. Um, a fairy king. Grab that. Jump here. Seth is going to help out on this end. We'll get Lyrian. Lyrian. You can hunt! Nice! Okay, a lot of our nieslings can't, so it is a bit difficult for me to remember. But Fairy is going to do some hunting, because why not? And then Quail can also hunt! Okay, delicious. We got some hunting done. Riache, can she make it to that nest? Darn it, she can't. So she's just going to have a baby over here next to that piece of food. She does have frog legs, so that is a, that is a bit of a setback. Okay, let's have a look! Are we going to have an heir for the fairy prince? Because our king is pretty old. <gasps> it's our king's last day and I didn't even realize. Okay, bye-bye king. Are you going to have a grandson? Are you going to have a grandson? No! 
a little baby girl. But she looks so cool. Oh, thank goodness. She did not get the frog legs. She has, I think, a grandmother's. You know those, like, scary soulless eyes that, um, who was it? One of our females had. Solene had? Look at that. She's like a little Solene. She's like Celine, except she looks a little bit different with the patterning. That is so cool. Do you guys see that? Um, Celine did not have a band of black around her neck. But this one, this princess, almost has like a necklace going on. Which is really cool, like a choker. Ah, that looks awesome. But this is going to be Princess um, Spice. I like it! Princess Spice. Welcome to the family. So it's kind of got that nutmeg kind of color going on. So Princess Spice. Um, ah, geez. Uh, where's our prince? So we have Fairy King Lyrian. He is the new king. We'll give him his white stones. And his younger brother Quail is now going to be Fairy Prince. Since Lyrian does not yet have an heir. So Fairy Prince Quail. Excellent. Um, how long do they have? Lyrian and Riachia, they have days, so I'm not too worried about rushing them, um, for their breedings. So let's check out some of the other nichelings. Okay, Jennif, let's give you your godstone. Anyone else moving around? Oh, we also have these two, right? Okay, in terms of males, now we seem to have an excess of females, guys. We literally have, <laughs> we have Lyrian and Seth and then Quail. So we're going to have to breed Rhea and Seth. I think that might be wise. I wanted like fairy females and now we're having just nothing but fairy females. Okay, uh, who's going to, who's going to come down here? And I need, I need someone to look after the baby though. Who's going to look after the baby? Ah, this is so tough. Let's see. Can someone wiggle here and look after the baby? Yes. Elif, look after your granddaughter, please. Thank you. Because Rhea has to go and try and breed up. Yes. With Prince Seth. Nice. We have that pairing going. Okay. Good, good, good. And not to worry too much, we still will be trying with these guys. Um, to get them going, but... We don't have to rush with anything. They, they have some time. They have time and they have quail. So we're all good to go. Okay, let's turn the day. Who is this? Oh, it's an adjust. This is a very interesting troll. This is kind of like a... I don't know if I'd call it a water troll. Maybe like a swamp troll. Just because it doesn't have the water body. Well, that's kind of fascinating. It's probably very intrigued by this beautiful god. Sorry, dude. Stay away. She is not for you. Not for you at all. Okay, Betferia. Let's clear these spots. Quail and Riachia are going to help out. And now we can start wiggling down this narrow path that I talked about a few episodes back to this port where we're going to leap from. So that should be pretty good. Um, how long does Rhea have? She's got two days. And I think we've got enough food, more or less, to get everyone to hoof it. So, let's see. Roxy, she's going to come here. Elith, meanwhile, is going to stick around and just guard grand her grandchild. Jennif, I'm going to just start getting everyone to move as much as possible. As much as possible. And if Rhea can have the baby as close to the port, I think that's going to help us out as well. Okay, Seth, nobody worry about food at this point. Oh, yeah. God Princess Spice. Jeez. Okay, well, God Princess Spice. Uh, you guys are going to stick there for a second. Let's get moving. Oh, good. Roxy is a teen, so she can start moving on her own. Princess Spice is still young, so she's definitely going to need help. Ella is on her last day, but she should be able to see her family kind of moving towards that passage, which will be good. Okay, Betferia, let's dive you here. Quail, keep up with everyone. And Princess Riachia, she really has trouble moving, so we're going to have the king 
We're going to have to get the king to be mindful of that. Okay, Seth. Seth is going to stick here, try and be next to the kids as much as possible. And then Jennif. Jennif, as one of the few gods with any ability to fight whatsoever, is going to try her best. King Lyrian is going to hop over here, clear these spots. And then Rhea. One... Uh, to have your baby right over there. Rhea's gonna have a child over here because why the flip not? And I feel it will be cruel to leave you guys hanging on Rhea's next baby, given the first one was absolutely amazing. So I think we are going to see what this baby is and then end off the episode there. So let's have a look at what cool niche we're gonna get. Fingers crossed it's a boy because we need boys. We need more boys. We're having like a huge influx of girls and suddenly no boys. Yes! Okay, okay, we got a really cool golden black nacheling. Look at dusky gold, dark gold. Um, but some of those metal jeans are continuing, which is really fun. Um, and this is... He's a water fairy too, so we've got like these really cool water fairies going on. Unfortunately, with no attack whatsoever. Ah, no attack. But hey, we've got water fairies, which is kind of interesting. This is going to be... God, let's have a look. God Blavel. I like that name. God Blavel. Welcome to the family. Okay, that was, a, that was a good addition. That was an important addition, which I'm very happy about. But when we come back next time, we're going to be breeding Riachia with the king again and hope for a prince that we can get. I'm not freaking out too much because we do have Quail, who has aged up. Oh my goodness, Quail. We have Quail. Um, so the royal line is not going to die off or anything, but we do want to, we do want to try and keep the main line going as much as possible. But okay guys, so with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I just said that. I'll see you all next time. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye everyone.